five things a man will say to you if he doesn't love you or doesn't want to have a committed relationship with you number one he will say let's take it slow let's take it slow three months ago he said let's take it slow let me try and get these things together get that thing together if he's constantly moving important dates or shifting the post on you then he is not ready to have a committed relationship with you it's possible he's still considering if you're actually the one for him or not and you should not waste your time either because you can't waste your time when you know you truly love this person and you're, you're truly willing to be there for him and he's not certain about you. That's a waste of time. What happens to you when he wakes up the next day and he feels like you're not the one for him after you would have wasted two, three, four years and five years of your life? My sister, open your eyes. Don't waste your time with people like that. Number two. If he's always saying to you, if you know you love me, have sex with me to prove your love for me. That is, I don't even know where they get that from. Sex is not a proof for love. Yes, I said it. If sex is a proof for love, some people will not patronize prostitutes. That someone have sex with you on the first date, on the tenth date, is not a sign that the person is in love with you. There are so many other things that prove that someone loves you, not sex. So do not be deceived. If he's insisting that you have to prove to him that you love him by having sex with him, then you have to run away from that kind of person. He's not serious. If he loves you and is willing to be with you and share his life with you, then he would understand that eventually sex is something that he's going to have like for the rest of time with you. So why the rush? If he's rushing you up like that, then it means that what he has come for is just that sex. And once he gets it, my sister, if you run, that's the truth. So you should be weary of a person like that, always insisting and pestering you about sex. That is not the most important thing in a relationship. Number three, he's always hiding you away from his friends and families. You hear things like, I don't have a trusted friend. Oh, please, don't fall for that. Everybody has at least one friend. And at least one family member is he an island the fourth from tree he has a family or maybe you hear things like oh my mom she's a difficult person i don't want you to meet her yet i don't want her to disturb you yet cut the crap don't fall for that any man that loves you we want to show you to whoever cares to see and we want to tell about you to whoever cares to listen i am telling you this from experience don't fall for that Oh, my mom is difficult. If you come and see her now, she's going to let her difficult to you. Meet his mother and meet his family people. Don't insist anyway. If he doesn't want to willingly show you to his people, to his friend and to his family, then you should know what to do because you're not going to force him to introduce you to people that are in his life. Because if you're important to him, then that should be a priority for him, not you. So if he doesn't want to do that, then you know what to do. You can't waste your time. No time, no time. Okay, your Mr. Wright is somewhere waiting and praying for you. You're here wasting your time with this man that is not even sure about you, hiding you from family and friends. Maybe he has another committed relationship or maybe he has already introduced someone to the friends and family. So he doesn't want to bring you into the picture because you're going to be a spoiler. So do you want to be a spoiler? My sister, run for your life. Number four, he's always saying, don't call me, don't call me. I'm always busy, I'm always busy. I'll be the one to call you, I'll be the one to call you. Now, yes, yeah, sometimes the situation can be like that. But if it is always happening like that, but you don't ever get to call him, he's the one that calls you. Then there is something fishy. Why is it like that? So he's the one that determines when he wants to speak with you or not. Ah, this one, you don't need any prophet to pray for you. You don't need any somebody to be throwing cowardice anyway and be doing magic for you. No, it's clear and simple. He's hiding something. Because why would you be insisting that she doesn't call you? You're always the one that will call her. So when it's when, when you have the time and when you're, when you're free from the other person, obviously, that's when you rush out and go and call her or something. My sister, this one is a simple thing. No matter how you feel about him and how much more you cherish that relationship, if he's always saying, don't call me, don't call me, I'll be the one to call you. And he's constantly the only the one calling you. It means that you're in that relationship alone. No? Yes, now. You're in that relationship alone. So... You know the code don't waste your time and that brings me to number five he's always hiding his place of residence you don't even know where this man lives you don't even know whether a reincarnated woman being whether i don't die before because you don't know where they live first of all you don't know his family you don't know his friends you don't know where he lives that is something you need to pay attention to 
I'm not saying yes, you need to go to his house and anything, but you need to know where he lives. If he's always saying, uh, my house is in area one today, tomorrow is Banana Island, next tomorrow is Yanebaja. Ah, you need to know where he lives. And if he's always, always consciously hiding this information from you, it means that something did there, you know, won't bring you come in because already there is already an occupant there. I see a lot of ladies crying, hey, he doesn't want to commit to me. He's doing this, he's doing that. There are things that common sense will let you know that come, this thing and no go area. This one has been taken. So don't even waste your time. Thank you for watching. I love you. Follow for more.